Our vestibular system takes information that comes to our brains from all of our senses and directs the messages to where they need to go. It is one of our very first sensory systems to develop and arguably the most important. Our vestibular system has two receptors located in the inner ear. One of the receptors tells us that we are firmly connected to the earth by responding to the force of gravity. The other receptor is stimulated when we move our head, such as when walking, running, jumping, climbing, swinging, spinning, or rolling. As you can see, our vestibular system is constantly stimulated during gymnastics. Can we go faster? What do you think? When we are able to integrate these movement and gravity sensations, we feel balanced and secure enough to navigate our environment, even when our feet are off the ground. If our vestibular system is not functioning properly, it will affect our entire nervous system. When we are not able to sense the pull of gravity and respond appropriately, or if our bodies receive too much vestibular input, we may feel fearful of falling or hesitant to go upside down. Climb on over. Activities where our feet come off the ground or the surface is unstable are especially scary. Some kids may feel so threatened they are reluctant to even go to the gym. <laughs> Well, that's a nice song. Movement experiences are vital for these kids, but be sure to respect their needs. Remember that their fear of gravity is a primal threat. It is not rational. If you try to control the child's movements or push them too far outside of their comfort zone, they may respond with obstinance. Squeeze the bear on your feet and drop it into the swimming pool. Set up equipment that is enticing and allows the child time to gradually work through their fear. Instead of asking a child with a gravitational insecurity to hang from the bar right away, instead ask the child to hold onto the bar while they use their toes to pick stuffed animals up off the floor and place them into a bucket. Keep it playful and try engaging the child's imagination to distract them from the fear involved with feeling unstable while they learn to counteract their balance. There you go. For some kids, it feels impossible to turn on their vestibular system without movement. These kids are not nourished by movement in the same way as other kids. Their brains might feel foggy, or they might zone out and not be able to focus. You may have noticed these kids in the gym. They are often described as having attention issues or behavioral problems because they can't seem to stay still or control their bodies. But it turns out, these kids move a lot because movement actually helps them to focus and organize their brains. Try sequencing your class in a way that supports their learning needs. Start with activities where the child gets to run through space, go upside down, or spin, as this can help their bodies and brains to focus. For kids who are overstimulated, gentle lateral movements like rocking and swinging tend to be calming and soothing. Gymnastics provides the kind of skills and movement that can help to boost a child's vestibular system. These new skills can then transfer into their daily activities, offering greater opportunity for success in their everyday lives. To find out more about special needs gymnastics or to learn how tumble track products can work in your space, visit us at www.tumbletrack.com.